back to Rinaldi. Got to push past a couple, including Piper. Doesn't get there. Froling got about the whole team to beat from Bendigo, but gets it in anyway. Indeed, Simmons gives it off. Rinaldi just hands it over to Cracknell. Yeah, everyone can hear the clock going down. Here we go. Cracknell for three. Oh. Yes, and she does it. Any, uh, it's a bit like uh, Eddie Had Stadium. You just call it that, but it's not. It's Marvel. So the same with uh, this place, Schweppes. It ain't Schweppes. Here we go. Off hands. Well done. I thought it was still Telstra Dome. Alicia. <laughs> it's had a few, hasn't it? Rare for Strawhorn to miss there because she's been good today. Froling. Ex Bendigo girl as well. Pops it in. Easy stuff. Very experienced too. They settle again. Some nice work in there, Froling. Got Kate Oliver to beat. Does it? Well, got a smack of the chops. That's not going to worry you. Eric Hayes from Ballarat was thinking the same thing you were thinking. Where's the trouble? Don't change their mind. That's a nice, yeah. strong move. Yeah, Froling. She's good today. Well, she's good always. But Tough lefty finish. Yeah. Maybe just the heavy legs, just adjusting to it. But yeah. she definitely won't be making any excuses like that. She's a... Froling. Gives it up, does well, just a little lay job, and I tell you what, they have kept that 10-point lead. Lovely little bounce pass to Kate Oliver with her first basket since the first quarter. Froling just does that way too easy. Jasmine Simmons gives it off Rinaldi to Burton. In the paint, saw that coming, gives it back to Froling. And just snags at Alicia. Probably the right no call. I guess we would have liked to have seen that happen in the Australia versus China game. But enough about that. As a uh, lovely Simmons. pass. Simmons, 15 now. Ballarat up by six. They need to stop. Froling gets a push and a shove. This is going to be the game you were thinking it is. That will be the win for win. 20 points matches her performance from last night.